Hey everybody, welcome to part two of my Thor's hammer tutorial. Today we are going to be making the handle so that it's not just a giant block. Let's get started. Okay, so let's unhide our empties here or our images. I'm going to start on our handle. This is going to be a separate object because I can then after I'm done with this object, I can just add it to the other object and join them together. It's a little bit easier to work with when it's two separate, obje two separate objects. Okay, so I'm going to go up here to add mesh cylinder. Then we can scale this down and kind of match it up with our handle. That's probably good. And then I'm gonna scale it up so it's not this itty bitty tiny hammer. So S Z to scale it up on the Z. And right about there. It's pretty handily. We can handle that, right? Okay. Now we're going to tap into edit mode and Add in some loop cuts. So I'm on the loop cut tool already, so that's good. I'm just gonna add some loop cuts to where the like handle grips start. So I'm gonna move them down by just dragging them, by holding and dragging the loop cuts to where I want them to be. And then I have this special trick for the grips to make them kind of bevel like they do. Not bevel, sorry, like grip almost. I don't know. But you see here, I'll do it in a second. After I'm done with these loop cuts, just at the base of the grip, I'm adding a bunch of loop cuts. So if you see here, I did the draw tool. Right now our um, grips are just a straight line. But what we want is for it to bevel a little bit like this, because that's how the grips are. So instead of having them be straight, we want them to go a little bit like this. Okay, so the way we can do that is we can press tab to go into edit mode, and then grab this which is the vertex select. And we can zoom in here, or we'll actually zoom out. And well, I'm using wireframe so I can box select the vertice below, and I'm just selecting that one vertice in the middle there. And I'm going to turn on proportional. Well, here, I can show you. So if I were to move just this down, I'd have to move each individual down until it completes the bevel that I'm looking for. And that is time consuming. So instead, I want to move a bunch of vertices at once, but I'm only moving one. So what I'm going to do is click this proportional editing up here at the top and just move it down, and if I adjust my scroll wheel here, you can see that it's bubbling. Those vertices are bubbling to match this. And you can adjust your tool. I'm going to, I think, stick with this tool. Maybe even, yeah, the, the smooth tool is great. Oopsies. And I, I'm just gonna move it down until I see that it matches that hammer, those grips. So now if I go back to object mode, or go back into edit mode, I mean, you can see that they are working as beveling, they're beveling, and it's looking great. Now we have to make them thicker. And there's a pretty simple way of doing this. What I'm going to do is select them 
wireframe. I'm just gonna select each of these. All of the um the beveled grips and I'm going to press tab oopsies sorry not tab you're going to go shift D and then left click which doesn't do anything what doesn't so when you press shift D it is now connected to your mouse but we don't really want that so what I'm going to do is just left clip, which then just cancels your move. So now I have a duplicated, it sees, turn off proportional editing, now you can see that I have this duplicated part of my mesh. What I'm going to do is press P, selection, and this just makes it a different object. So now we have two cylinders one is the grips and one is the cylinder and you can name it up here I'm just gonna leave mine as a cylinder because i don't really know but you can if you want to now what i'm going to do is i'm going to add the grips so they look like the grips in my photo here so this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to select my grip cylinder and I'm going to go press tab. Now what I'm going to do is go into the edge select mode and go into the wireframe. I'm going to box select each of the um, vertices or edges in the middle and not the um, grip. So I'm just going to delete each one. Oh, there's one on the bottom. Okay. So now, you just keep on deleting those edges until you have no more edges and now I press oopsies forgot that middle one now if I press A you can see we just have those grips and how I'm going to make this turn into those grips is they need to be thicker they can't just be like a little tiny thin vertice that you can't even see. So how I'm going to make this thicker is I'm just going to extrude it up. So pressing E, Z, and having all of them selected, I'm going to move them up just a tiny bit. And this extrudes a bit out of the um, vertice. So if you see it now, it is now these thick grips and these also don't really look like grips yet and how I can fix this to make it look thicker because it is pretty much just mesh with our objects so if I press tab no not tab you can barely see them or they're not like popping out what I can do is select it and add a solidify modifier and this makes it thicker so now we have those grips on our hammer and I can also add in a bevel modifier to bevel these grips and I can shade smooth and it is looking pretty good now the next part is the handle so I'm going to press tab to go into edit mode go to face select select this bottom face here also you are going to probably want your um, images so you can see 
and I'm going to go to wireframe. Now, if you need this, probably should have mentioned in the first, the first part of this tutorial, you can up here, if you want, if you think that you can't see it enough, you can go to um, solid mode and then press this x-ray vision. So now you can see it a little bit better. And I'm just going to do this for this part because I feel like I might need it. And what I'm going to do is I just move it up a little bit so it lines up with this bottom part here. I'm going to take the extrude tool. So I'm going to extrude it down, then press S to scale it. And then I can extrude it down again, press S to scale it out, extrude it, press S to scale it. Now, if we go to object mode, you can see that it's got that bottom of the hammer. And all I'm going to do is I am going to, if we zoom in here just a little bit, you can see that there is a little bit of detail down here. There's a little bit of an indent here, right here. It's kind of hard to see, but you can kind of see it a little bit. It kind of indents. And I'm just going to add that in. So I'm going to press tab again to go into edit mode, loop cut to those, those indents, just a little bit. Drag it up to where the indents are. Go to my, um, face select mode, box select these bottom vertices, press I to indent them, and then S to kind of bring them in almost. And now, if I zoom out here, we have a little bit more detail with that indent, which is great. Now I can add a bevel modifier to this, and shade smooth. Something you might want though is since I added that bevel modifier, it's beveling right here. What you can do is just move it down or add another loop cut. That'll just sharpen that up a little bit. And now we have to do the top. So I'm going to unhide them and zoom in here just a little bit. And as you can see, I can't loop cut this one because I've got all of these, um, the grips that we made are kind of getting in the way of that. But I, what I can do to solve that problem is I can loop cut and then drag it all the way up to the top and then I can move it back down. So that's great. And now I'm gonna loop cut a little bit here and press S to scale it out. And then I can loop cut again, press S to scale it in loop cut again to make this end indent yes and now I can go to my face select select that top one and scale it until this matches that now if you look the hammer is pretty much now complete there's just a few things that I'm going to do. I'm going to have to do the same thing I did with the bottom with the bevel, which is just add another loop cut to sharpen that. And what I can actually do with this, oopsies, get rid of that loop cut. I can actually scale that loop cut in just a bit.
and then I can back up. And now it looks a little bit sharper. And there's one thing I forgot to do for the base here. It's all of the details. And I'm just gonna do that really quickly in this tutorial. It's pretty quick. I'm gonna press tab, and then I'm going to go to wireframe and select, box select all of these, uh, not all of them. I'm just gonna select these side ones, but not these, these corners here. Those stay like So I'm just selecting everything here, except for the corners, and then I'm going to press I to indent them. And then I'm gonna press I again, and then S, to just scale it in a little bit. And now we have that kind of cool looking indented more a little bit more detailed uh hammer there and then there's one more thing if i pull up my reference that you see it's this and then here that has a little bit of work that we're going to need to do and then this kind of line here both are pretty simple to do i'm just going to loop cut this bottom until there and then I'm going to loop cut here and loop cut here. So now I'm gonna add a loop cut here, another one just right next to this one, and then another one on the other side. Here, right next to it. Okay, now I'm going to go to face select mode, select this bottom vertice here, I can just delete it right now, and then delete these. And now what I can do is I can go to face select, or edge select, sorry, not face select, and I can zoom in here, hide my empties. On wireframe, I just select these edges these and press F and that just fills them in I can do the same thing with the other side press F to fill it in and then this and these corners here just like this and these corners here by holding down shift, I can select multiple things, and then I can press F to fill it in there. And now, it is indented. There we go, now I can see it. It's looking way more like Thor's hammer. There's a little bit of stuff that we need to do here. There's one more thing, as I mentioned a little bit earlier, that we can do, which is this kind of cool zigzag thing. It's not a zigzag, but it's like cool. And how we can do that is we can loop cut those vertices there so loop cut into there see a side view loop cut to there and then I can take the vertices in the oh forgot one thing which is I need to loop cut here too And then I can take my face select and I can select these and just move them up. Now you can see that 
it has moved into place where we want it and I can select I can select those vertices along there I'm just box selecting them and then I'm going to press I to indent it I'm going to do that again because I accidentally did it a little bit too much. So I just a little bit. And then I'm going to go to um, solid mode. And I'm going to press S to just scale those in a little bit to kind of extrude them in. And now you can see. I have my hammer all done. So this is the finished modeled hammer. Join me in the next part to see the texturing and how I finished my hammer.